Alrighty, let's get started here. Doc Calloway has lived for three months, 21 days, and 20 hours. He has killed zero zombies. I tend to keep it that way. Today, August 31st of 1998, uh, Doc needs to take advantage of the waning days of Hot Girl Summer. So we have prepared this duffel bag, which we are now going to actually put on. With everything we need to go to the beach. I go to the beach, I gotta bring the Lucky Spiffo with. Can't leave that behind. Must come with me everywhere. But in here we have wooden spear, fish bait, fishing rod, fishing net, fishing line, everything to go fishing, first aid kit just in case. And clothes for Doc to wear as he goes to the beach. Now it's a little bit chilly. Yeah, like I said, it's the waning days of hot girl summer. Hot dock summer. So, yeah, a little chilly to be going to the beach, but Doc's like, you know, we gotta take advantage of this while we can. So, we will get changed here. We'll leave our regular clothes behind. Yeah, you know, we can keep the Hawaiian shirt. I think that might have patches on it, so I might uh, remove it if it does. Yeah, it does. We'll take off. We'll keep the friendship bracelet. Tank top. You have to wash up a little bit. Yeah, this Hawaiian shirt's got all these patches on it. So we'll take care of that, too. Doc's ready for the beach. Take the flashlight in case it gets dark while we're gone. I have bandage on? I wonder when I got that. Oh, it's still scratched. I don't remember. Uh, let's see if we have any other appropriate beach going clothes here. Eh, no, not really. Okay. So yeah, Doc's a little chilly, but he's a believer in like the polar bear challenge things that people do. Which if you're not familiar, that's Crazy people in the North, North America, will uh, go jump into a frozen lake in like February when it's like zero degrees. They're crazy. I don't know why they would do that. But they think it's fun. And I guess Doc is going to be one of those people, you know. 51 degrees. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. But you know what? Let's get our, uh, our fishing rod in our hand, too. <laughs> Doc looks ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta take a screenshot of that. Oh. Alright, we're going to the beach. We should try to avoid these zombies. Do, do, do. <laughs> Saw me. Do I have to get all these zombies into the trap? Holy crap! Yeah, we're gonna have to get all these zombies into the trap. Full show. Before we go to the beach. It'll be a good warm up for Doc. Oh no, they're all going around the fence that way. That's not good. Hey, over here. We're gonna have to do this in waves. So yeah, I think I'll speed this up. And then once we got everyone in there. We'll head to the beach. God, there's another group over here. Yikes! I think all those zombies people have been killing in the area have respawned. So that's what all these guys are. But anyway, speeding up time.
Not bad, not bad. Getting pretty big numbers in here. Pretty good for sneak training. Oh god. That's why I sledged out those walls. Alright, let's make sure we aren't gonna get ambushed going down those stairs. Yeah, we would. I had. You can hear them down there, but they aren't coming up. Maybe I was just hearing the ones in the trap? Nope. Oi! You! Idiot. Yeah, get up. Come on. You got places to be. Try to go to the beach here, lady. Let's get a move on. Coming. That's right. Okay. Alright, I think we can finally go to the beach. Which should not be far, it's just right down this road. There it is. I don't know what kind of quality that beach is going to be. Looks like it's just right by a commercial area. But we shall find out. Yeah, that zombie trap is a fickle mistress. It requires constant attention. But it is quite rewarding. If you do. Alright, we're going to take a jog down there. There's a lot of zombies around. And our flip-flops and shorts. Printing level 10. It's nice. I wonder if flip flops give you a. Yeah, they slow you down a lot. <laughs> Oops. My, oh my. Who's been chopping trees here? I don't know. We would definitely run faster in bare feet, but with sprinting level 10, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Alright, here's the river. And there's the beach. So let's try to find an open spot. Where there's not too many zombies. We can lead them away. Fifty-eight degrees, a little bit chilly for just swim trunks and flip-flops. What are you gonna do? All right, let's be sneaky. Seems pretty nice around here. Uh, spoke too soon. All right, if I lead these guys away, will this area be clear? That's the question. Let's gather them all up. Come on, zombies, follow me. Yes, yes. Is that all of them? I believe so. Let's put one over to make sure. Alright, let's lead them away. Listen through these trees easily enough. And away we go. Dun, 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 dun.
I gotta be careful not to run into another group over here. Hopefully not. But we are sneaking, so it's probably all right. All right, 12.30. And we've gotten to the beach. Looking pretty clear. All right, let's put our bag down. Grab some baits. And the fishing line. And the lucky spiffo, can't leave that. Take another look around. All right, let's fish. Again. There we go. Oh, I forgot my paper clips. Can't use the fishing rod. Oh well, we'll use the spear. Why can't I use the wooden spear? Oh man, what a bummer. You used to be able to do that. But apparently not. Hmm. I have a knife. Let us get a new spear instead of going back. Where is it? Firewood. Let's try not to go too far. Look at the search radius on Doc. Damn. Oh, this foraging zone isn't set up. We're not going to find anything here. Damn, we really have to go all the way back to base. I think we do. Oh well. Foiled. Alright, well, let's go. This foraging zone is set up. Just need some tree branches. Some fish bait wouldn't hurt. Maybe somebody who was chopping down the trees left behind the tree branches. Should have taken those mushrooms. <laughs> Pursuit foraging. Foraging while being chased by zombies. I mean, I kind of want to lead them this way anyway. Good feeling about this one. Oh, just let the grass. My oh my. All right, well, time for another jog. Let's go. base. Let's grab some paper clips. 
which I thought was in here. Maybe I'm keeping them somewhere else. Yeah, maybe they're in the food section. Maybe another box of nails. Nails will work, but I prefer to use the paper clips. So you can use nails for other things. Huh. All well, my paper clips are missing. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Okay. And I'm also going to put on my shoes. For us to run there. There we go. We'll put on the flip flops once we get back to the beach. Alright, let's go. Clocks are ticking, daylight's wasting. Look at Doc, so swole, so fit. We are back to our fishing spot. Should be safe. Let's open this and fix our fishing rod. Snails, mmm. Delicious. Let's fix this. Uh, let's place this fishing net trap too. Nobody's following me, right? Oh, should be good. Alright, let's put on our flip-flops. Have a nice, relaxing fish. Ah, yes. We got visitors. This may be a sign that it's time to go. Let's try to get these fish put away. Pretty successful, got a lot of good fish. Uh, let's hold this. Ah, oh, we can't. All right, well, time to run back to base. Let's put our sneakers on. Oh, no, don't drop them. Put them on, you idiot. There you go. All right, let's go.
That was pretty good. Got a lot of good fish. Look at this perch. It's a big perch. 79 hunger. Ooh, baby. Doc's gonna be eating good tonight. That's a lot of zombies. Hopefully our endurance holds out the whole run. It should. Doc's fitness is seven. Look, these guys are ready to get into the zombie trap all on their own. Quite the following here. I think there's more zombies there than I have subscribers. Alright, we need to drop some stuff. Let's drop the fish. There we go. group might be too big to get into the trap, but we're going to try. Alright. Switch back. Next switch back. Next switch back. I'm running out of switchbacks here. Tricky. Very good. Oh, there's still one in the trap here. Hey. Thank you. Alright, let's get the rest of them. Attract some of them. There we go. Uh, that guy was a slippery one. He thought he was going to be crafty. He's not. Let's <laughs> flop right on their face. Come here. Good thing we got a swimsuit. Doesn't matter if we get wet. And 
you go. Oh, Laura, no, you don't. Okay. It's starting to get dark. That's why I brought the flashlight. Keep coming, yeah. There's a lot of them that we're following. Let's get the flashlight out. I'm not gonna walk down there. Take it the smart way. Just one. Yeah, we got them all in. Almost. There's one down at the bottom of the stairs, too. Oh, I don't have any extra batteries. Uh -oh. Where'd that one go? It's so dark. All right, let's bail. Go home. And we'll grab the fish, too. Can't forget those. Look how big this fish is. Got to lay him out in the base. But let's get somewhere safe. Oh, there's a zombie there. Hard to tell because it's so dark. Getting home a little after midnight in the rain. Let's go turn the generator on so we can see. Turn it on. Okay. Let's lay him out over here in the kitchen. I wonder... Let's put this down. <laughs> Look at how freaking huge this thing is. Oh, man. That's gigantic. <laughs> Uh, they're clipping. Damn. I'll have to put them on the floor. That's just nuts, man. Let's put this one down. Oh, what else we got? We got other fish in here. <laughs> These fish models are... Massive. We got a sunfish and a pike. Pretty good. How much hunger is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish here. Let's see, seven, five, nine, sixteen, eight. The perch is seventy-nine hunger though. That is nuts. 
even more than the pike. But yeah, it was a pretty successful trip, I would say. Waning days of hot dock summer, just going to the beach, hanging out, living Doc's best life. With that, I think we'll end here, and I'll catch you guys next time for another episode of the World War Z Multiplayer Series, Season 2, starring Dark Calloway. Alright, peace.